Are there any recurring jokes that we need to clue? Uh, by way of applause, who was yes. not here before? Who's new? <laughs> okay, so some recurring jokes that we need to clue you in on. Firstly, Mike Myers is Canadian. I yep. was very disturbed to learn this. But we have him, Mustafa, and we have Frau Farbissener, who is sort of the Kleb, the Rosa Kleb of this movie. Um, sort of evil, sadistic woman, uh, sort of um, a little bit um, Rosa Kleb and a little bit this one Canadian nurse called Lotta Hitchmanova, because there's a lot of Canadian in-jokes in this that are only funny if you're Mike Myers. This uh, is another problem for this movie. That, that makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Is and, Mike Myers Canadian? Yeah, afraid so. The, the... That doesn't feel right to me. Like, I believe you. Mm. I uh, attacked on both sides. No, they walk among us. <laughs> they, 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 look, they look like normal people. They don't talk like them, but they look like they normal could, people. Could be in Someone this you room. know may be a Canadian. He's biologically Canadian. <laughs> a Canadian bodied person in my space. Yeah, I can. My Stratham space. <laughs> we can always tell. <laughs> you just hand them a bag of milk and you try and gauge their reaction. You know? <laughs> Never <laughs> fails. <laughs> Trying to change the laws of the Canadians. How to use a separate toilet. <laughs> that's, that's like the five genders of just like male, female, and no gender. Like the like South Asian, like Jester right, said, right. trans people and Canadian. <laughs> it's, a, it's a toilet with like a maple leaf on the door and a lot of really disappointed stoners in there. <laughs> it's, like, ah, fuck. It's, it's sort of, it's a hard day's night, right? It's Beastful Mania. Austin Powers um, dressed very much like this. Thank you. <laughs> Velvet suit, uh, cravat, National Health Service glasses. Um, nominally a fashion photographer by day, spy by night. I couldn't find glasses that looked good enough, quite frankly. Yeah. I, I tried, but I, I just the vision wasn't there. Well, they don't you make know? things anymore in this country. They don't. <laughs> I got. I got to be honest with you. I think this is funny. Apparently, they also I, don't make Mike Myers in this country. No. <laughs> what is happening to our society? A that we strategic can't even... Mike Myers gap. See, I'm now developed. offended retroactively by the teeth thing. I'm madder. About... <laughs> I wasn't originally because I was like, okay, this man is making fun of Britain. Yes, we are very silly. Yes, we are a joke country for losers. Yes. But I'm like, no, you can't say that if you're from Canada. <laughs> no. A famously serious nation. He went to an American dentist and had them make him up. Uh, British teeth, um, which what the he's fuck. He is wearing this prosthesis, this dental prosthesis, through the whole movie of like bad teeth, right? Which is insulting. It's stolen valor. I worked very hard to get these teeth this bad. <laughs> A lot of years went into this, and he thinks he can just you know enter into like my spaces. Uh, he doesn't mm. have this like shared cultural background. He'll never know what it is to be British. Um, <laughs> I th I do think and. Um, this is me putting up me defending this right at the top because it will not fucking last. But I do think there is something, there's a nugget there of something very humorous to be like, look at this fucking guy. That is the <laughs> sexiest person a Brit can imagine. Yeah. yeah and I was that, like, that yeah, is, I'm owned. That is a funny joke that like women really desire Austin. He's, yeah. he's like really cool when it's like, this is the sexiest man in Britain. He's just yeah, like exactly. a little like toad. That's funny if you're British. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for the, for the next hour and a half, we're going to be teaching you about the concept of in-groups and out-groups. Uh, <laughs> who the law must bind and who it must involve. Yeah, the, the law must bind Austin Powers. When will it start binding Austin Powers? I'm asking this very strongly. He escapes into an escape pod in the form of a Bob's Big Boy. Now, this is... What the fuck is a, what a are Big these? Boy? <laughs> is this a Canadian bit? Yeah, this is Canadian imperialism. Uh, uh, so... Uh, <laughs> Bob's Bob's big boy. Um, well, it appears to be in the shape of a big boy. Good is <laughs> my my, my parents God. look at me in the hospital. Um, <laughs> Bob's big boy is a Canadian American chain of like burger restaurants, right? Um, and they in, like they just have a mascot that's like a boy with a burger. 
And this is transformed into a rocket that Dr. Evil escapes in. Is that the reference that they're making in The Simpsons where the guy's with the donut? Is that the... I think that's maybe the same thing. I don't know. Wonderful. Mm. I'm learning a lot here. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, you can get Canadian citizenship after you know completing a series of tests about how much you know about um, uh, you know Bob's big boy... Mm-hmm. Um, name Tim, a second Tim Canadian Tim thing. Hortons? Nice. Name yeah. a third Canadian. Oh fuck! It's my turn. Uh, <laughs> Mike Myers. It's kind of for, cold for, up there, isn't for it? a dollar, name a Canadian. I don't pay attention to any Canadians. <laughs> I don't remember losers. A, a third, a third Canadian restaurant, Canadian Tire, I guess. Um, first of all, we got to do radar operator bits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And spinning oh. the antenna. God, Guy that, I love to see. This, this actor's name is Clint Howard. He's like a legendary American or potentially Canadian. I'm, I'm really shaken by <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. Could uh, be any one I'm of us. I'm getting worried. Yeah. <laughs> Would you fuck your Canadian double? <laughs> no. I fuck. told you last time. Jesus yes. Christ. Imagine the maple syrup. Just <laughs> everywhere. Atrocious. One day later. It's day two of the Kill James Bond Russian sleep experiment. <laughs> It's Austin's Powers, the spy who shagged me. What did we learn last night? Nothing. <laughs> I, remember, nothing. I remember mm. Mike Myers is Canadian. That's true. Which yeah, I we was learned surprised. That. I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I learned this live on stage. I was like, what? You can't make fun of British people like this. I thought he was one of us. Live Abigail Thorne reaction. <laughs> <laughs> but that no. was about it. I don't really remember anything else. So this movie came out around the same time as the new Star Wars, which means it was required by law to begin oh, with a Star a Wars opening crawl parody explaining what we learned in the past movie. So it's a long sort of Star Wars call that just says, Mike Myers is Canadian. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. You know what else isn't funny? What if a guy was fat, right? Well, let, me, let me stop you right Whoa! there. Now, you might think that that's the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> but check this out. What if he was also Scottish? Oh. <laughs> fat bastard. So fat bastard. Uh, Bastard. This is a Canadian aggression against the peoples of Scotland. <laughs> First Minister Yusuf, please institute sanctions <laughs> immediately. <laughs> uh, targeted airstrikes. I, I, I just, I, I, I think it's necessary to do a targeted, moderate regime change in Canada. Just in order to prevent these kinds of breaches of international norms. Because every Canadian thinks they can do a Scottish accent. Because Mike of, Myers really thinks he can do yes, a Scottish accent. Yes, yeah. And he can't. He just fully cannot. And I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it's because of like historical Scottish immigration to Canada. But it's just it's embedded in their culture now. And we have to get over there with tanks and an air force <laughs> and rip it back out. Because if these are the consequences, you know, this, can, this aggression cannot stand, man. Uh, cultural insensitivity. <sighs> First Minister, please send Eurofighters from RAF Lucas. Bomb Canada now. <laughs> One day later. So they do some more fucking musical bits, right? Um, uh, fucking Dr. Evil turns good. We learn his like real name is Doug, which is a maple leaves joke because Mike Myers is Canadian. Um, what? I'm sorry to tell you this, you know, so I, they should have to tell you if they're Canadian, but they really don't, and there's no A-Cab way. ACAB stands for Assigned Canadian. <laughs> Assigned, fuck you.